Hi friends, my name is Sergey Kromchenko. I live and work in Los Angeles as an engineering manager of SDAT. I've been coding for more than seven years, and today we're going to talk about a Lua Reporter. Specifically, uh, what a Lua Reporter is, why do you like a Lua Reporter versus other reporters out there, and number three, how do we install and use a Lua Reporter? Let's go! So what a Lua Reporter is? Well, if you work with automation, which I'm pretty sure you did at some point of the time, you are familiar with sort of some sort of reporters, and most likely with Mocha Reporter. With that one, you simply see an output, uh, for example, the name of your test and a green check mark if it passed, the name of your test and a red cross if it failed. It's awesome, but it's not very scalable. You know, if you have 1,000 tests, how long do you think it's gonna take you to scroll through all of them and find all of the failures? And how are you going to distribute all of those failures across the team if you're using Mongo Reporter? I don't know, and you probably don't either. So, Elo Reporter gives you an amazing UX, basically user experience, uh, in which you can easily see a list of all of the failures and different kinds of failures. And also, if you integrate a video reporting tool or a screenshot reporting tool, you will see your failures with the videos of your test execution. And then you will easily find out why exactly it failed. So, that's what Elo Reporter is. So, number two. Why do I like a Lua Reporter better than any other reporters out there? Reason number one, it is easy to use. Uh, as you will see in a couple of minutes, it is super user-friendly, easy to navigate. Uh, number two, it is easy to integrate with other apps. For example, if you would like to record videos of every failure and then see the video of the test execution plus failure, uh, it will take you about two minutes because it's just another JS library which you can simply integrate into your automation framework. And number three, it is easy to install. Actually, it's super easy to install and that's our third point of our video. So let's jump straight into it and I'll show you how to install it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to codemify.com, our website right here, and then click on WDIO integrations, LO reporter, there we go. Okay, step number one. Let's install uh, Lua Reporter. Boom, boom, boom. Installed. Perfect. Step number two. Overwrite following reporters property in your configuration file. Reporters. Okay, I think we do have that one in wdao.com.js. So let's go into configuration file. Uh, search for reporter. That's the one right here. Let's overwrite it. Booms, let's remove an extra space here because it looks ugly. Perfect. Uh, so we added, uh, we added this one. Let's run our automation. So let's just run one test. You can run all of your tests, but I'm gonna run only one just to make it sweet and fast. Okay, let's give it a second to finish running. And by the way, please pay attention to this report right here. Uh, this folder did not exist before, it just came up right here. Okay, uh, yeah, and that's where we're going to keep all of our Allure results. Okay, let's give it another second. Perfect, we're back here. Okay, so now what we gotta do is generate an open report Allure serve. Let's paste it in here, run it. And three, and two, and one. Boom, beautiful. You see that? We ran six test cases. 100 test cases pass. Uh, you can see suite. There's only one suite, community button in dashboard. Uh, and all of six tests right here, you can click on them. If you would ever have any failures, you would see the, the steps right here and the error messages. You can see the history of this test, how many retries uh, were there, but since we had none, there are no retries. Thank you. Congress guys, we've made it. Now you know how to install, use, and in the next video, I'll show you how to integrate Allure Video Reporter with the same famous video recording tool, which will help you to know exactly what happened on a UI side of your test failure. 
I really want to thank you for thank you for your time. Please give me a big fat thumb up if you like this video. If you did not, leave a comment below so I would know what do I need to improve. And I'll see you next time.